Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for, oh, the next seven days. So you can say seven days from the date that you watch it, okay? But it is record, being recorded on the 13th, so you can say the 13th through the 20th, but keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. So what do we have for Gemini? Gong, an exciting event. There's going to be an exciting event this week. Yeehaw! It's gonna be, what do we got? This just fell out. Leo, could be dealing with a Leo. You also may need to have strength, okay? Um, or could it be something that happened during Leo season that is coming about now? Or you could be dealing with a Leo, okay? There's going, or a Leo sun, moon, rising. It doesn't have to be a Leo exactly. I do think you're going to need to have strength because that's what I keep looking at. This may not make you happy, whatever this ex exciting event is. Um, anyhow, uh, what do we have for Gemini? Ooh. X. I don't know. It might have to do with an X or somebody uh, that you told no in the past or there's been some sort of X. When I see that X, I, when I made that card, I thought of uh, two things. I thought of the X, you know, an X. And then I also thought, you know, on The Voice or uh, American. I don't even know. I don't watch them. But I, th I think I've seen The Voice before where they have that X. And that's what I was thinking, you know, the no button. So I'm not sure if you're telling somebody no, but, or this is somebody that is being crossed out. You know, the answer is no. It's a no answer because, you know, you know, that's what it could be. So, oh, another card just fell off. Autumn. Autumn plays a part. And I believe it's autumn now, at least where I live. Um, this is harvest time. So, There's going to be an exciting event. Somebody may be being told no. Uh, may have something to do with an X or some. Yeah, I feel like no is prominent here. Or something is being crossed out. Eh, you know, crossed out. What do we have for Gemini? Eight of Swords reversed in the Death card. Eight of Swords reversed is an obstacle that is being removed. Okay, we have an obstacle that is being removed. There's been some lies. Somebody has been playing it safe, right? They've been uh, confining themselves. This is the end. It's the end of confinement. It's the end of restrictions. Uh, there's been some sort of prison here. This is freedom. It's breaking free, breaking free. The end. The death is a separation or a loss that leads to a new beginning. You may have been tied to a situation, stuck in a situation, playing it safe. There's freedom here. There's definitely freedom here. These are both cut freedom. So there's freedom from something. The end. The end. Death is an ending. It's a, it's a loss or a separation that leads to a new beginning. Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles is a realignment, okay? It's about taking that next step. This is a trying to find balance, ups and downs, needing to be flexible. You are going to need to be flexible. You're also going to have to make a choice. Knight of Wands reverse. Something could be happening extremely fast, extremely. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, but there's a choice. Two of Pentacles is a choice. It feels like you've been missing something because there's like there's something that is coming that you may not be aware. You may not be aware that something is coming. What is this Knight of Wands reversed? Queen of Pentacles. Ah, uh, so this is about stability. It's about security. It's about uh, abundance. We have a hard worker here. This is somebody that has a lot to offer. Um, golden opportunity. This is somebody that is very devoted, down to earth. This is a homemaker, businesswoman. This is somebody that does it all. Knight of Wands reversed. That is, hmm. 
hates restrictions. We have somebody here that hates restrictions, that does not like to be told no. Maybe doing something recklessly or impulsive. There could be a sudden arrival, there could be a sudden departure. Whatever's happening, it's extremely fast. Queen of Pentacles, this is a golden opportunity, right? It is. This is an opportunity for abundance. She has it in her hand. She has, the, she has a gift. She has a blessing. She has the golden opportunity in her hand. She's holding on to it. Somebody's holding on to their value. They're holding on to their security. They're holding on to what they have. I had to lock her out there because I did. Devil reverse. Now, this is uh, severing ties. Okay, this is, this is suffering. This is, you must free yourself. Somebody needs to free themselves from a toxic situation. And we saw that with the Eight of Swords reversed as well. That's like breaking free. This is breaking free as well. Breaking free, securing something. The Queen of Pentacles has that security that she does. She has the opportunity for security. Somebody may be giving you an opportunity for security or you're gonna be in contact with somebody that... And that could also be a reality check. The Queen of Pentacles, she delivers a reality check as well because what she holds in her hand is real. It's real. Anyhow, the devil reverse that is breaking free from a toxic situation. That could be dealing with a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Um, do I feel like there is some sort of rejection here? Um, there's two options. There's two choices. Uh, somebody has done something reckless. They have. They've done something reckless. Now there's, there's, I feel like there's some sort of consequences for it. Anyhow, the devil is, is breaking free from an unhealthy situation. I feel like it's, whatever's happening, it's extremely sudden. The opportunity is here. This is the opportunity. Somebody has given, it's like they've opened the door to freedom. Eight of Wands. Now, this has to do with messages or gossip or communication going back and forth. Okay? There's definitely gonna, things are going to happen fast. This is increased speed. I wonder if somebody is, is developing an intimate relationship or there's some sort of intimacy developing between a couple people. I mean, that's fast forward movement right underneath the Knight of Wands. Going towards this Queen of Pentacles, because the Eight of Wands is going right towards this Queen of Pentacles. So there's messages. Maybe she's giving the messages, or she's or there's messages going back and forth. Somebody is headed towards stability. They are. They are. They're headed towards something very, very stable, solid, and secure. It's very sudden because it comes after freedom. There's been some sort of decision trying to find balance, trying to make the right choice. There's been some sort of impulsive behavior or somebody may have done something reckless. You know, there may, there's some lust here. Knight of Wands and the devil upright or reverse. There's lust. Somebody has a strong desire for something more. They have a strong desire for something more solid, more stable, more secure. They're in an unhealthy situation right now where there's probably a lack of attraction or a lack of desire or a lack of passion. So they've been going back and forth with what their next step should be. But there is going to be some movement because that Eight of Wands is movement. <clears throat> Hope you're ready. Hope you're ready. Be ready. Be ready. Okay? You need to definitely be ready. Ooh. You did have death at the beginning, remember? Endings that lead to new beginnings. So this is a separation. A separation from the wrong one, whether it's you or them, okay? This is a conflict. It's disharmony. It's disconnection from a partner that you're not compatible with. This is a one-sidedness. This is a separation, okay? It is a separation. So somebody is separating from somebody that... I don't think there's any passion. There's no, there's no passion. There's no... You know, there's a lack of sensuality here. There's not a spiritual connection. 
breaking free, breaking free from that, breaking free from that toxic, unhealthy situation that somebody has been slave to, they've been tied to. They've been able to handle it up until now. I mean, the two of pentacles is like, I'm, I'm able to, I'm able to handle this, but I'd really like to not have to keep doing this. It's like juggling two options as well. So either you've been juggling two options or they have. Somebody's been juggling two options, you know, and there's like, there's a responsibility issue here with the Knight of Wands reverse. It's like we may have somebody here that doesn't really want responsibility. You know, they've always been able to juggle. They've always been a player because the two of <coughs> pentacles is juggling, right? It is. That's juggling. And juggling is a game. And who plays games? Players. So the first card out is a player. So we definitely have a player here. We have a player here that probably looks really good. There's some something very charming about this person, very attractive. I mean, we got the Knight of Wands and the Devil. They're both reversed, but it's still very attractive. Okay, there's some sort of draw, right? It's a it's a sexual draw towards this person. Lust, right? Something like that. Maybe materialism as well. Anyhow, the lover's reverse is a separation and so isn't the devil. I mean, the, uh, the devil reversed as well because that's breaking free. But the death card. The death card is this re of freedom here. Freedom from a contract. The lover's is a contract. It is reversed. Uh, freedom from a contract that somebody has been tied to for codependent reasons. You know, maybe it's just like, I don't want to be alone. You may have somebody here that has fear, the Knight of Wands, where they don't want to be alone. They may be in their ego, too. You know, so we have people that stay in unhealthy situations, you know, because of social pressure. You know, I don't want to be single because I'm alone, you know, and I'm not good enough and stupid shit like that. Um, there is a separation here. There is a separation here. Somebody's going to be headed towards security, towards stability. They're good, there's going to be fast forward movement breaking free from an unhealthy situation or things getting worse. This is a separation it is. There's going to be an exciting event. Six of cups right after that queen of pentacles. I wonder if there's some sort of reunion, you know, soulmate reunion here or something like that. Somebody may be communicating with a soulmate or, or this may even have to do with children. Uh, Six of Cups is the past. Memories of the past. Headed, headed, somebody maybe, I wanted to say home, but I don't know what that means. Um, there's a reunion. There is a reunion here between two people that know each other. These two people know each other. They, or they feel very, very familiar with each other. There's going to be, things are going to happen. And somebody may be going home, maybe to their hometown. Anyhow, Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands that is moving fast, going somewhere, traveling in a new direction, holding on to an opportunity, grabbing an opportunity that, it, that for security, somebody's going to be receiving an opportunity. There's going to be some sort of uh, memories, nostalgia, or memories of love even. Some sort of reunion here. Could even have to do with children, mother and children. Because the Queen of Pentacles is a mother, and on the Six of Cups we have two children, so there's something to do with mother and children here. We may have somebody here that's separating from a partner, you know, because they need to be a mother. Maybe they've been neglecting their children for some toxic individual. We definitely have a choice. We have a change here with that Two of Pentacles. This is a realignment. There's something is a coming to an end. We definitely have an ending here. Breaking free. An obstacle is being removed. Somebody is making a choice. There's going to be some sort of reunion, whether it's between mother and children or, or uh, mother and child or, or a soulmate. Could be a, and children are soulmates too, but it could be a love soulmate. Um, there's going to be messages. A lot of messages going back and forth about this separation. Ah, get prepared. 
This is a definite decision. This is definitely a decision that this is definite. Twos are kind of like making that choice, indecision, what do I do? Threes are when the decision has been made. Taking definite action. I don't even know. If some of you, there's some, something that is coming. Get prepared. Or there's a, an arrival or a departure here. Get prepared. Get prepared. This is the future looks bright. There's a bright future here. I feel like we have somebody here that has been uh, waiting for the moment. They've been waiting for the moment to leave a situation. Now they've gotten the golden opportunity to do so. And they're going to be doing it. They're going somewhere. They're going somewhere. And I feel like they're headed right towards a soulmate that... I do. That they have some sort of familiarity with. Or memories with. Or they're going to build memories. This re reawakens the memories of love with that Six of Cups. Whew. Ready. Ready, 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 ready. Somebody's ready. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready to go home or they're ready to come home or they're ready to move. There's moving. There is moving here. There is definitely movement. Oh, I told you. I told you there was a golden opportunity now, didn't I? It's a big one. It's a huge one. This is a this is a new investment. This is something you can hold on to. This is prosperity. Financial stability, financial security, a new opportunity. This is a golden opportunity. So we have somebody here that is receiving and they're getting, they are, they are. I feel like you are receiving a very solid, secure opportunity. We have a buck here. Could be from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. Um, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here as well. But you are definitely going to be going through some separation to get it. That's you. Okay? Securing something. Securing an opportunity. This is a gift. It's huge. It is huge. This is somebody that you know. I don't know if it's somebody that you grew up with or somebody that you just feel, you know, familiar with. Very familiar. This could be like a past life connection. There is going to be an exciting event. You're about to receive a gift. Some of you, this may be even money. This could be money or a job opportunity or whatever this is. You are about to receive something that changes your... It's a change. You're going to have to be flexible because of that two of pentacles. You've got to be flexible. You've got to be adaptable. You're going to be, it's like you already have this. Now you got this. What do you do? Because you have to choose. You have to choose. And that's the way it always is. Because you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't have both. And maybe it's them. This could go vice versa. Somebody's about to choose one over the other because we go from the two of pentacles to the ace of pentacles. So it goes from two to one. We have a very devoted, uh, business-oriented, uh, stable, solid individual here that is giving somebody a golden opportunity right now to break free from an unhealthy situation that is toxic. This person has been going back and forth with their decision. One more card. <clears throat> There's some sort of connection here. I feel like it's a soulmate connection. Seeing very clearly what the best choice is. This is coming out of confusion, making a clear choice. So somebody has been confused. They've been, maybe they've even been in a state of illusion. This is coming out of illusion, making the choice. You or they, somebody is receiving an opportunity that leads to something permanent. This is a permanent, secure 
Either it's a job or it's a living situation or a partnership. It's something solid. So we definitely have a decision that is being made. Okay, this is a, this is a decision. I also believe there's going to be a conversation, um, a, chal a challenging conversation. Okay, you may be, be, be <laughs> you may be put in a position where you have to to think about something. You have to think about your choice. You have to th you have to think about your options. Um, I think that you're also dealing with somebody that has made a decision. Maybe it's you that's made a decision. This is a definite decision, okay? There's no more indecisiveness. This is coming out of confusion, seeing the truth, speaking the truth, doing the right thing, acting with integrity. You know, I got to do what I got to do, making a judgment call, headed towards stability. Yeah, this is a gift. It's a golden opportunity, something you can hold on to. This is freedom, freedom from some sort of trap or prison or fear, you know, letting go of the fear. We have somebody here that has been fearful. They let their ego get in the way of their happiness. We got to go. This can't go on all day. So anyway, there's going to be movement and it's very positive, very positive. This is what you asked for. The Ace of Pentacles is manifestation. It's like you asked for this. This is like a reunion with somebody that you are very familiar with, whether it's somebody brand new or not. It definitely could be somebody brand new with that Ace of Pentacles. Whatever this is, you're going to feel very connected to this person or this is somebody that you know. It could definitely be somebody you know. There's going to be an increase. Things are going to speed up. Things are going to happen fast. But there is also a completion here. Okay, we have a separation. We do with that death card and the lover's reverse. This is disharmony in a partnership, okay? It's a disconnection. There's no compatibility. There's one-sidedness. There's toxicity. There's, there's slavery, right? There's obsession. There's codependency. There's no attraction to it, but it's comfortable. There's codependency. Breaking free from a codependent situation and headed towards stability and security and freedom and happiness and... Uh, this is a gift. You're receiving some sort of gift this week. Good luck.